Hello and welcome again to Take It Out. In this video we're going to be setting up the fans in my new Entho Pro PC case, which I've recently rehoused my computer into. I have some new fans and also they're in slightly different positions, so each fan needs to be reconfigured. To do this I'm going to use the software which came with my motherboard, which is the Asus All Suite 3 software. First of all we have to run the setup program which configures and identifies each of the fans and then from there we can move on to actually configuring each individual fan. This software also has the advantage that it uh, configures the GPU as well and as I have an Asus GPU it'll automatically configure the fans for that. So when I use the software it'll be able to control both the fans in the PC case and the GPU. So here goes. So here we go then. This is where we begin the individual tuning of the fans throughout the system. I'll open up all suite again and uh, this is the actual interface of the program itself. We've already done the tuning as you saw on the first clip there and that was using this the automatic tune up and discovery of the fans. So now that's complete, we can actually go and look at each individual fan and tune each fan as I want it by going into the fan expert. Click on the fan uh, in question first, this one being the CPU fan. And then we use this little button here to discover if it is the right fan that we're looking at. So we press that and it, what it basically does is switches that one onto full speed and turns all the others off so we know exactly we've got the right one. So we know we got the right one and here's the tuning for the CPU fan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down and just adjust it slightly so that it's set so it comes on at about uh, 40 degrees centigrade. Uh, so basically what happens is the fan will run at its very lowest speed up until 40 degrees centigrade and then as the temperature builds so the uh, fan will build in speed as well. Next we look at the bottom fan, again use the little button here to test that it's the right fan we're looking at and uh, once we discover that it is the right fan we can then look at the profile of that fan. Now this one I've got to set to about 55 degrees uh, so it basically it does not come on until the CPU registers 55 degrees and it is switched off. Uh, it's a little setting here to have it switched off when it is below that and then it rises again in accordance with the temperature. And we continue to do this throughout the system. We look at the front fan. And the front fan I want running from a very low speed. This is the first fan to come on because I want there to be a positive pressure within the system itself so that the dust doesn't come into the system. There's always something uh, initially to blow the dust out rather than suck it in. So this one is the one that comes on first and it pushes air into the system before any of the other fans actually start working. The back fan is then the next fan to come on. This one actually comes on a little higher in temperature and again it keeps the pressure in the system as this is a smaller fan, this is a 140 mm fan, much smaller than the front fan. It keeps the pressure in the system still at a positive pressure but it also helps to exhaust some of the heat. And then finally we have this, the system set up. Now you might notice that there's one fan missing here which is the top fan. This is controlled by the CPU optional uh, pinout. Now there's no control on that pinout for the top fan. Uh, it automatically controls it and it ramps up that fan as the CPU hits a certain temperature. It uh, actually actuates the second fan as well. So that's all controlled automatically. We don't have to actually set that one. Now if we press the button here, what happens is we put the fans, all of them, onto full speed for rapid cooling in the system. You have turbo cooling, then the normal system setting, and finally we have quiet setting. Now I want my PC to run as quiet as possible, which is why I have the fans off at the lowest temperatures. So I generally keep it on the silent setting. Save the profile, you set up your own personal profile, press save and there it is, it's ready to go. 
So the fans are all set up now. If you want to load a different profile, you can, or you can just load your own profile and the system will switch to that. This means that uh, when I'm not gaming or not using heavy encoding for the video or any such thing, the system is running almost completely silently. Very, very little noise coming from the system at all. And as you can see, the temperatures are, are very good. Considering there's very little cool in this uh, heat sink and fan, this very large tower heat sink and fan on the CPU keeps it very cool and the system keeps the speeds of the fans all down to a minimum, including the GPU fan when again when it's not under load. So there you go. That's how you tune up the fans on the Asus motherboards. And it is the same for the newer boards. Uh, they do have a few more pinouts and there are more controls. You can control quite a few more fans than you can with my particular board but the system and the software is almost exactly the same and I've got it it's it's very good it's nice to have a nice silent PC when you're just sitting reading uh, articles and so forth and uh, have it keeping it cool when you're gaming or using heavy video editing and so on so this is uh, just a quick setup guide then for the Asus uh, software the all sweet 3 software and the fun tuning software. So thank you very much for watching and I hope it's been of some help to you and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.